think we've got four chains in here. I recommend that you attach two of them with this. Now we're ready to hang with our chains and um, hooks and T-bar clips. Okay, so these are the pieces for a suspended ceiling, which you've got included in your kit. If you have a different kind of ceiling, um, you will probably need to buy different kind of attachments, maybe screws and hooks. Talk to your custodian about that. They'll probably have the best idea. So when you're putting this um, O piece onto the hook, you want to make sure that it's tightened and then it's a little bit longer on one side. That's where it will fit and go straight down. So for demonstration purposes, we're setting up the light in this space. Um, this probably wouldn't be the space I would pick in this classroom. Um, so there's a lift in this metal piece that has a hole in it that seems like you should put this O into it, but actually you're going to put it into the hole there. And so for this job, it is great if you have two people for sure. And you see how it just hangs there? And then we're just gonna tighten up. So this looks a little bit crooked. It's probably because of the way that we've placed the hooks on the ceiling, which is fine, or you can change the height by um, cinching up the chain. Your light is hanging, it's pretty even. You're gonna just swing an earth box underneath of it. So just like we adjusted these to make sure that uh, the light was level, you can adjust this to different heights. If your plants are getting taller um, and they're hitting the light, you'll want to make it higher. Um, but this is a pretty good height right now. It's about a meter from the surface of, of the earth box or the surface of the soil growing medium. Um, and that would be great. If you're starting plants, you could leave them on the floor, but it might be nice to have a table like this height that would sit underneath of your light and uh, that would give them enough heat and light to get started. Um, next, we're going to put the fan in its spot. Uh, in this room, we're going to put it up in the suspended ceiling, but you could put it on a table or a shelf away from water, or you could mount it on the wall as well. So again, you'll probably want to connect this somehow so that it's not just hanging down. Um, pin it to the wall or in some safe way. So we have the light plugged into the ballast. We need the ballast plugged into the surge protector and the surge protector plugged into the timer. So if you have a timer like this, you really only need two of the starts and stops. Say you wanted the light to come on at 8 a.m. So you'd put the green on at 8 a.m. And you want your light to be on for between 8 to 12 hours. So um, say I wanted it on for 12 hours, so I'd put the stop at 8 p.m. And you'd set this to the time it is during when you're setting this up and plug it into the wall. All right, so we have our finished product. We have our light, our reflector, and then we're about a meter away from the ground for our earth box. And then over on Audrey's side, we've got the fan connected by ducting. We also have the ballast connected to the light by a power cord. The ballast and the fan are both plugged into the surge protector and the surge protector into the timer, which goes into the wall. And that's it. Ta-da! Ta-da!